Hello guys, how you doing? So, I'm going to watch episode 526 of One Piece today and I'm really curious about this whole situation with them going really deep in order to reach this uh, Fishman Island and I believe they still have 3000 meters to go but uh, unfortunately Luffy, Sanji and Zoro are currently missing so that's uh, not good and right now the rest of them are trying to look uh, for uh, those three and uh, hopefully they will find them um, but it's not going to be easy since this place is really dark and they also have to deal with all of these sea monsters and stuff. Um, but yeah, by the end of the episode they actually found this one guy and he was actually talking so that was um, quite surprising. Um, and uh, that was um, also helpful because he was preventing that angler from eating their ship. Um, but yeah, then it uh, ended with a ship uh, approaching them and uh, it actually had uh, Flying Dutchman written on it, so it instantly reminded me of um, the Pirates of the Caribbean uh, movies. Um, and yeah, I don't know if there's going to be more similarities, I was like uh, um, wondering about it since uh, I watched those movies and I want to believe that this thing about the Kraken and uh, the Flying Dutchman, uh, I don't think it's exclusively from the Pirates of the Caribbean movies, it's like probably like, um, like these myths and stuff. Uh, but yeah, I only saw them during those movies, so of course I'm going to be reminded uh, of them. Um, and uh, I don't know if there's also going to be... Like, I remember that uh, Davy Jones was the captain of um, the Flying Dutchman. Um, and, um, like, I was uh, wondering about, um, like, that whole story about uh, uh, the ship being underwater and only coming to surface. Uh, it's apparently every 10 years, so that's something I couldn't uh, remember before. Um, but yeah, I don't know if it's going to be the same thing here or not, I just uh, uh, found it uh, interesting to see like some similarities between uh, those movies and this situation right now. Um, but yeah, I, I want to see what's going to happen next and again, I'm um, worried about uh, Luffy, Sanji and Zoro since uh, they disappeared and uh, uh, I don't know what exactly happened with them, just really hope that um, they are safe somewhere and that they can uh, be found eventually. Um, but yeah, right now really can't wait to see what's going to happen during this uh, next episode. So, with this, hope you guys are ready and... Let's start it. This time I actually skip that intro. Also these. I wonder how we did that. Like it, it, it became like steel or something. It's called elephant gun. Also this shark. There's still a lot of things that... I need to understand better. Like so many questions. I believe they showed... A silhouette of someone. Probably someone inside of that ship. Dead Man Tell No Tales. Isn't that the... The name of the movie even? The Pirates of the Caribbean? Damn. Captain Vander Decken. Looks that way.
<laughs> I mean, <laughs> this brook. Yeah, this is what happened before when they met him. <laughs> I mean, he was literally in one of those, even though it wasn't under underwater. Oh, the story. Damn. <laughs> that who's up and chopper. <laughs> they never change. <laughs> that part of them. It was just like drifting and Brook was there, but it wasn't an actual ghost shape like like that one. He's drawing it. At angle though. <laughs> oh. <laughs> it's like this. Yeah, this. She's so like interested on it. Hmm. Yeah, this is going to be a problem. Ooh. Is that about to erupt or something? Okay then. That was... Coming really hot. Oh, The Kraken Why did he do that? It's like he protected them Apparently he wasn't defeated before Damn Wait! Luffy's controlling it! And he's here! Wait, don't tell me he actually tamed the Kraken. They actually got the ear! And Zori's like, <laughs> he's like sleeping there. <laughs> Not sleeping, but just relaxing. What happened though? Oh my god, this is Sanji. <laughs> Gonna take a long time. 
<laughs> but I love this. I love how Sanji needs to go through that to get used to Nami's and Robin's beauty. Oh! Yeah, that was dangerous. It's like they... Like they're not they're not aware anymore of what's going on outside. I can't believe he's actually doing that. How though it's is it because of his Aki like And this is oh my god I can't believe what Luffy wanted is actually happening. It's about to erupt or something. Damn, they need to get out of there. Are you really though? I mean, there's probably a lot of treasures underwater. He's like looking for all of them. <laughs> That's really mean. <laughs> the rehabilitation. <laughs> Oh, there's like so much happening at the same time. <laughs> Man, this is pose though. <laughs> really... Like... Showing it. A beautiful figure. Damn. It's reaching them. What happened? They got like... They got eat by something? Is going <laughs> really? You tamed him, and you recently think about eating it. Man, you need to protect those photos. <laughs> it's too much. Oh my god, really? As I say that, oh, they're covered in blood. So crazy. This place. They're so far. Damn. A lot of a lot of tension. I mean so much happening. So much they already have to deal with underwater. 
like it's really easy for things to go wrong like goes back to they said that not many ships make it and this shows why <laughs> I mean, they need to go down, so... That's Sanji. I'm going to find it funny all the time, so... <laughs> To be careful about the rocks. You can be eaten by those. Yeah. Oh, Zoro. Oh, and he's going to extend his. Oh, the, it's because of the pressure. Oh, that. That's a good point. It doesn't have that thing involving him, so... He wouldn't be protected. That was good of Robin. Ooh. Oh, is that seaweed? Damn! And Usopp showing more of his skills! Man, that was really helpful! I love how they keep showing more! Like, they're showing a bit of each of them. That was close! Yeah, they must be so amazed, like, seeing each other's abilities now. <laughs> Man, I really want to know more about those two ears. It skipped them... Skipped it entirely, so hopefully they will... Show more eventually. <laughs> Mendy's. Oh! One of them actually ate him! Damn, that was not good. Those whales? Oh, 10,000 meters already! This is like the entrance to the the Fishman Island. They're there. How are they going to move like that? <laughs> oh my god, that's a <laughs> that light ray. <laughs> Going through his, his eye and stuff. Not his eye, but his... Like, the place, I guess. Oh, damn. What's there? Like a bubble. Oh, there's like... An entrance or something. Yeah, these. 
You need to go through there. Damn. There's a place on top. And this place. I guess Kraken can bring them there. I believe he has um, a name now, so need to memorize it. You need to be careful, I mean... He already almost explode just by seeing Nami and Robin. <laughs> Exactly, you tell him, he's not ready. <laughs> There's already some of them, <laughs> oh my god. So dramatic. Please don't die on us. This is exactly what I was thinking about before, like, it's going to be so much for him. <laughs> oh my god. Okay, now he's all fired up. <laughs> the flame of his <laughs> That's the way to put it. Oh my god, I'm having so much fun. Surume, that's his name. I need to memorize it. It's a rhino, elephant, lion mixed with another sea creature. Damn, they still have to deal with these. There's also a giraffe. Oh my god. <laughs> and Luffy always amazed. What's that one? That like a. Looked like it was like a lizard or something with a hat. Man, it's uh, apparently still not over. Like these. Um... Like, they are already here, close to the Fishman Island, but they still have to deal with these sea monsters. Um, but yeah, it's, uh, it was really fun to see this, uh, like this trip like, uh, to, the, to, to, to the Fishman Island. Uh, but it was quite dangerous, so that was um, quite something, and thankfully they arrived here uh, safely so far. Um, and yeah, I was, um, like, it was really interesting to me to see this whole thing about... Um, the Kraken and uh, the Flying Dutchman and stuff, and uh, apparently there's no David Jones, so uh, again, I don't know much about the, the actual story and stuff, I'm just going by uh, what I saw during the Pirates of the Caribbean movies. Um, but yeah, it was definitely really entertaining to uh, to watch this, and um, I wonder like what's going to happen now, since uh, they are in front of these uh, sea monsters, and... Uh, like, they are really close to the Fishman Island, so hopefully they will, um, like, they will be able to deal with these ones, and, uh, like, so just so, um, I don't know how to say this, like, I just don't want uh, anything bad to happen, of course, like, hopefully they will um, be able to enter the Fishman Island safely. Um, and yeah, I want to see how exactly that place works, because uh, not only it is underwater, which is already, um, like, a really big, um, like, like, big thing, I guess, like, it's not uh, uh, the usual uh, thing uh, you, you see, um, but um, it's like uh, in a giant uh, bubble, and there's, uh, I'm assuming that's the entrance of it, and uh, they were talking a bit uh, about um, the inside, and uh, how it, uh, it felt like it had claws or something, um, but yeah, eventually they will um, most likely show... Um, like that whole place, and I really want to see um, the full design of it. It's always something that um, I love to see, like uh, how, like the, the appearance of these uh, new new places. Um, and yeah, when I saw um, like this happening, like um, 
the the fact that they are ten thousand meters um, below and like they are like near the Fishman Island, they are really deep. Um, it made me think that um, they already went to so many places and, and like I don't know how to say this, but just putting it like this, they they sailed in normal waters, I guess, so on normal levels. Um, and uh, they eventually went uh, to the Sky Islands, like really high up. Um, and now they're like at the bottom of like the deepest uh, place on Earth. So um, I don't know if it's actually like the deepest one, but it's really deep. Um, and yeah, it's uh, really interesting to to think about it this way, how they, they already explored um, like... A, I don't want to say a lot because there's still like this new world and there's uh, uh, plenty of uh, places to um, to go to most likely. Um, but I'm talking about the I don't know like the 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 um, the distance I guess like between like the sky and underwater. That's what I'm trying to say. Um, but yeah, I really like this and I want to see more of what's going to happen, of course. Um, and it was nice that they they showed uh, a bit more of Usopp and uh, like these um, these seeds that he's able to use now and uh, this time uh, I believe they're called um, Chopper was calling it sea plants uh, but those are called um, uh, sea weeds right I'm not too sure like some of these uh, um, I'm not too sure about some of these English names um, but yeah it was nice to see him doing that and uh, he prevented something really bad from happening even though one of the rocks still ended up eating um, Surume. Um, but yeah he's apparently fine and I can't believe that Luffy was actually able to tame him. I mean I don't know if it was by using uh, his Aki so like um, affecting uh, the Kraken and making uh, uh, him um, obey Luffy. Uh, but that was really impressive, and I mean, that's exactly what Luffy wanted to happen, and I found uh, it uh, really funny, but I had no idea that he was actually going to su succeed with that. So, um, to, like, it's, um, it's fun to see this happening, of course, but in the end, I'm just really happy that um, they are all okay. So, I was worried about Luffy, Sanji, and Zoro, and this explains um, what happened with them, and really nice to see that um, they were uh, safe, and they eventually got uh, to the rest uh, of their crew. Um, and yeah, really can't wait to see what's going to happen now, and uh, mostly like this deal with DC monsters, and uh, the one that they notice on the back. I believe they even said that... Uh, uh, it was uh, like riding one of these sea monsters, so not too sure what um, what that's about. Um, and yeah, there's uh, always this thing about Sanji as well, and how um, he's uh, not prepared. I mean, every time he sees Nami or Robin, he just goes like just goes crazy. He can't contain his feelings. Um, and I mean, I understand him. Like they're so beautiful now and their bodies are a lot more exposed. So of course he's going to uh, feel like uh, more attracted to them and stuff. Um, but yeah, he's, uh, this is exactly what I, was what I was talking about before, how they were literally going to a place um, that was supposedly full of mermaids. Um, and we saw how, uh, like, what Sanji thinks of mermaids, so he was instantly in love and uh, wishing to see some of them. Um, but seeing how he is dealing with Nami and Robin, um, he's definitely not prepared to see some mermaids, uh, some mermaids. So that's, um, I'm curious to see what's going to happen and like how he's going to deal um, with this. Like right now he's going through some sort of a rehab, so he has to look at those photos in order to be more used to um, their beauty and like to not go crazy all the time. Um, but yeah, it's probably going to take a while for that to, to happen and I don't even know if that's going to be possible because we know uh, how Sanji is and it's um, definitely not going to be easy for him to uh, keep um, himself together every time he sees uh, a girl. Um, but yeah, we'll see what happens, just really can't wait to, um, to watch these um, next episodes. So, with this, hope you guys enjoyed my reaction to this one and if you did, please... Leave a like and subscribe to the channel. And you can also join my Discord and my Patreon if you want to get early access to my full reactions. So yeah, thanks for watching and I'll see you guys in the next one.